last section of the theory of vector fields um, and vector analysis. Um, so after this, we'll actually get to actual electronics and electro electric fields and stuff like that. So this has to do with scalar and vector potentials and drawing from what we just learned with the Helmholtz theorem, we have basically two theorems that go hand in hand, right? One is the curlless uh, fields. Okay, sometimes these are called irrotational because they don't rotate. And the theorem says that if any one of these four conditions are met, all of them are met. So if the curl of F is zero, or if the integral from two points of, uh, or two vectors actually, of that field dot the L vector is independent of path, right? Or if we have the closed loop integral for the same thing is equal to zero for any closed loop, any loop. So if you can find any loop where that's equal to zero. And the last one is F is the gradient of some U. You remember that from the Helmholtz equation. So if any one of these conditions are met, all the others are met. So if you happen to encounter a field where the curl is zero, then you know immediately that the, the path integral is independent of the path, closed loop integral is zero, and F is some um, scalar potential, the divergence of some scalar potential. We call you the scalar potential, not to be confused with potential energy. Um, unfortunately, it was named poorly, but that's not a huge issue. The second one has to do with divergence-less or solenoidal. Um, so number two is the divergence-less. We call them solenoidal. Um, and again, if any of these uh, statements is true, then all of them are true. So one is that div of f is equal to zero. Another is that the surface integral of f vector dot dA um, is independent of surface. Another is that um, the closed surface integral of f vector dot dA is always equal to zero for any closed surface. And the last is that f is the curl of some vector potential. And all of these statements go hand in hand. If any one of them is true, then all of them are true. Um, you have enough under your belt, based on what we talked about, to prove both of these true. Um, and you're going to deal with um, electric fields and magnetic fields that behave in this way. So it's going to be a lot of fun as you as these things will will prove to be very useful.